Welcome back, everyone. You know, the world is such a magical place, and don't you ever doubt it, because here's the proof right here. I'm in Lubuntu today, and uh, do you know what Lubuntu is? Lubuntu is a lightweight Ubuntu Linux distribution. Now, if you've ever installed Ubuntu and played around with it, um, it's a very, uh, it's a very well-made uh, Linux distribution. Particularly if you're if you're new to Linux, it has a lot of things built into it that you would want. Uh, I know some people refer to it as Grandma Linux because it's it's so simple your your grandma could use it, and I don't think that's necessarily a a dig or uh, you know to to speak ill of the distribution. I think it's it's good to make Linux uh, safe for the normies, as as they say. But here, uh, as you can see from the, the manual here, the project's goal is to provide a lightweight yet functional Linux distribution based on a rock-solid Ubuntu base. Uh, you know, lightweight yet functional, I think that's almost underselling it a little bit because, I mean, not only is it uh, a highly functional, I'd say, it is um, a very, I think it's, I think it's highly functional, uh, particularly if you're running this on older hardware, could be a very good option for you, a good way of extending the life of your hardware, uh, maybe by several more years. So let's jump around a little bit and take a look. Uh, as you can see, you know, you've got the um, a sort of app launcher down here. You can use the super key on your keyboard to pull it up. And let's see what we've got here. Okay, so we've got under accessories, we've got feather pad. I guess that's your, your text editor right there. And that looks like a, a pretty fine text editor. I will not save. And let's see what else we've got under here. Uh, you've got the PC Man FM uh, file manager, which seems like a very fine file manager. Wouldn't have any complaints about it. Looks like it's got everything that you need here. I think we can eject the media. I don't think we need that. And uh, what else have we got? Uh, a file archiver. A clipboard tool that's nice a password manager built in a uh, tech info a viewer for tech info documents oh that's nice mm, that's actually quite nice I think I like that mm, very nice nice way to read documentation I think I, I think I like that even though as you all know I would I would probably prefer to do that in Emacs and Vim comes with Vim the the Vim text editor uh, I don't know how to use Vim, so, um, oh, well, I guess I'm doing okay right there. And I know how to quit it. Uh, so there, you've, you've got your Vim built in. Noble Note? I wonder what this is. Welcome to Noble Note. This is the first time that Noble Note has been started. I don't think we need the manual anymore. Uh, choose a directory where notes will be saved. Oh, interesting. So you've got a, a built-in note-taking app. So this is a default. Where do I take a note? Let's see. Let's see if I add a note. New notebook. Test. I'm hitting enter. Um, so I, th I thought I could click over into this window on the right here to, to type in the note. But... Uh, yeah, I don't know what to do, but uh, yeah, interesting. You can uh, take a notes, uh, take a look, and see if that note taking application would be good for you. Uh, you've got uh, a game, twenty forty eight QT. Not sure what that is. Uh, for graphics, you've got Image Magic, LX Image, LibreOffice Draw. Uh, interesting. I've never I've never used that tool, but um, I might plug in my Wacom tablet and take a look at it. Scan Light. I guess this is a a tool to uh, to scan items from a, a scanner looking for devices. Interesting. I don't have a device plugged in, but uh, that's good to know. Sometimes it's good to know what programs are out there. Comes with uh, Bluetooth, Firefox, uh, Transmission. And of course, you've got your, your LibreOffice, and it looks like a, a PDF viewer. Pulse Audio, VLC and some system tools. Oh, it comes with HTOP. HTOP is pre-installed. That's nice. That's a nice feature. So this is, uh, so we can actually take a look. Uh, so running running this right now in the VM, it's only using 
um, as far as memory, 591 meg of the 8 gigs I gave this uh, VM. So that's that's pretty pretty darn good, I think. Let's close that. All right, so those are our system tools. And then, of course, you've got your, your preferences here and various, uh, various options there. So we're, we're on LXQT 1.2.0. Advanced, easy to use, and fast desktop environment based on QT technologies. Uh, so yeah, so uh, Lubuntu, there, there were times where I was using this as my main distro, and I was uh, very happy with it. Maybe check it out if you have some old hardware lying around and you want to get Linux on it. It is not a bad distro to take a look at. Uh, but I'll leave it there. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, you can give it a like. And if not, well, I hope you will come back again sometime, and, and maybe I will earn that thumb up next time. Uh, but yeah, so I will leave it there. Uh, be sure to leave me any uh, comments or questions you may have down below, and subscribe if you want to see more content down the road. See you all next time.